Hey guys, Tom here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a little bit about my insulin smart pens. So I've got the Novo Pen Echo Plus, and I use this for my quick acting. So I've got Novo Rapid, and also I'm going to be talking about the Novo Pen 6, and I use Lavamir for my long acting. And also you can use Traceba and Fiasp for uh, these pens. So in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the pens and uh, show you how it works. Let's get straight into it and look at the Echo Plus. So with our pen, you've got the pen cap, so you can twist that off. And straight away, you can see the cartridge holder that holds the insulin cartridge and connects it to your smart pen. Also, you can see straight away the insulin window and this is super, super handy because you are then able to see that you are injecting with the right insulin and that is so important. Also, you can see the insulin scale from bottom all the way 50, 100, all the way up to 300. So each cartridge contains 300 units. So you can see how far off you are to get into the end of the cartridge itself. So let's explore a little bit more with our smart pens. So you can twist the cartridge holder to take out the cartridge. You can slide it out as simply by pressing down and it will slide out and you can dispose of this when you finish with it. And when you get a new cartridge, you can pop it straight back in. So looking at the cartridge itself, it's got a color band, so an orange band, this one indicates that it's Nova Rapid. It's got the threaded end, and that's where your needle will connect onto the pen, and we'll show you that later on. And it's got the, the piston at the bottom, and this is where it will push the cartridge along so that can inject into you. So looking at the pen as well, you've got the piston rod head there, and then the piston rod. And like I said, this will connect and push along so that it connects to the cartridge and then allows you to inject into you. Looking further down the pen, you've got the dose pointer. So the white line, and that will show you where the units are at. So currently it says eight units, and you can dial up with the dial up to see how many units you want to inject. And you can see that with the dose counter as well. So let's put it back down to zero. And at the bottom, you've got the dose memory. And if you click that in, it will tell you on there how many units you injected last and the time since your last injection. And this is so important because then you can then see when you last injected. So let's have some fun and let's connect the components together and then we can see and do a air shot. So you've got your cartridge and you've got your cartridge holder and you're simply going to connect the cartridge into the cartridge holder like that, follow it all the way down until the threaded end is at the bottom and that's where the needle will connect later on. So you've also got your pen with the piston. I'm going to connect that into the cartridge holder and click it and you'll hear a click sound as simple as that. So let's have a look at the needle and then we'll connect it to the pen to do our air shot. So you've got the paper tab at the bottom. Uh, we just peel that off and we'll do that in a second. You've got the outer needle cap there and then inside you have the inner needle cap which we'll show you in a second so simply going to take off the paper tab we're going to get our pen and we're going to connect it on and we're going to twist until we get to the end and you'll feel it fully secure at the end you're then going to get the needle cap the outer needle cap and take it off and then you'll see the inner needle cap there. Simply, we're going to take that off as well. And then you'll see the needle itself. Now we're going to look at doing our air shot. 
So we're going to dial up our two units. So our two units are there. I remember the Echo Plus pens do 0 0.5 increments. So that will be helpful to you guys, hopefully. And with our needle attached, it is all ready to go. And all we'll have to do then is press down on our dose memory and then you will see the air shot of insulin. Are you ready? And there we go, our insulin air shot using our smart pens. Once you've done your air shot, you can then calculate how many units you need to take with your meal or if you are doing your long acting and you can dial up on the smart pen and then you can then choose your site to inject and then you can use the dose memory by pressing the button and then injecting for your recommended time. Once you've injected, you can get your outer needle cap, place onto the needle and you can twist until it comes off and then you can dispose of that in your sharp box and then get your pen cap back on your pen and you're ready to go for your next injection. I use my Nova Pen 6 for my long acting insulin and the main difference is that it records in one units of increments rather than the 0 0.5 increments like the Nova Pen Echo. And also what I do like about it is it's a different color and I think that's really helpful as it allows me to know which color insulin I have for my quick acting and also my long acting. There are many different apps that you can use to synchronize your data from your smart pens, including Dysend, MySugar, and also Gluco. And I use the Gluco app on my phone and it links up with my CGM, so I can see the average readings there. And with me uploading the data from my smart pens, I can see how much insulin I'm using averagely there as well. I'm going to show you guys how to upload your data from your pens. So you're going to click on the sync button from the home tab, click on the pens, press next. I'm going to use the Nova Rapid pen rather than my Lavimer. And then on the back of your phone where the NFC chip is, you're going to use your smart pen with the memory mode and you're going to simply tap onto the back and it will synchronize all the data from your smart pen onto the app itself. And once it's done, it will come up with a message to say it has been successfully uploaded for you to see all your data. And there we go, you can see it's been successfully updated. So I press done, proceed through the pages, and then it's updated the relevant information on the home screen for you there. There we go guys, I hope you found that helpful looking at the Nova Pen Echo Plus and the Nova Pen 6, looking at the functionalities and exploring the pens and how they work. I hope that was helpful and I look forward to hearing about your stories with your smart pens.